Today, we're diving into how to use ChatGPT 4.5, OpenAI's latest update. The goal of today's video, to show you everything GPT 4.5 can do, how to get your hands on it, and whether it's the right fit for you. GPT 4.5 is all about flowing conversations and picking up on what you mean, even if you're not super clear. Let's see how you can start using it. First stop, openai.com. If you've already got an account, log in. If not, signing up takes like two minutes. As of right now, February 27th, 2025, GPT 4.5 is fresh off the press. It's rolling out to ChatGPT Pro users first. That's the $200 a month tier for the heavy hitters. If you're on the $20 a month ChatGPT Plus plan, good news. They're starting to trickle it out to you next week. No free tier yet, but fingers crossed that changes. To jump in, head to the chat GPT section, pick your plan, and once you're in, you'll see a simple chat box. Type something, hit enter, and you're rolling. Now, how does it actually work? You toss in a question or idea, and GPT 4.5 digs into its massive stash of info to reply. It's not searching the web live, it's pulling from what it's been trained on, which is a mind-blowing amount of text. For beginners, that's gold. It's so easy to chat back and forth, no clunky restarts needed. Plus, it's fast. Here's where it really shines. It's a creative beast. Let's say you're stuck on a birthday card message. I typed, write a short, funny note for my friend's birthday. Boom. Happy birthday, you old fossil. May your cake be moist and your joints less creaky. It's got this playful edge that's spot on. No source links pop up, but it throws out follow-ups like, want a sappier one? Or how old's your friend to keep you hooked? And get this, no ads, none of that pop-up nonsense you dodge elsewhere online. Second big win, it's supernatural. Need a movie pitch? I asked, give me a tagline for a sci-fi flick. It fired back. In a cosmos gone quiet, one scream restarts the stars. Two seconds flat, and it's got that blockbuster vibe. It's trained on so much stuff, it just gets what sounds good. Is it flawless? Nah, sometimes it leans too dramatic. Think cheesy novel vibes, but you can nudge it. Say, make it simpler, and it's like lost in space. One voice sparks hope. For beginners, that's the magic. It's quick, it's fun, and it molds to what you want with a little push. But it's not just a one-trick pony, it's a chat champ. After that sci-fi tagline, I went, what's the plot? And it kept rolling. A lone pilot crash lands on a silent planet only to find an ancient signal that could wake the galaxy or end it. It flows like you're brainstorming with a pal. That's way smoother than flipping between random web pages. For newbies, that's the hook. It's dead simple to keep digging deeper without feeling lost. It's like GPT 4.5 is sitting there, ready to riff on whatever you throw its way. Here's a feature that'll make your day, chat history. Every chat you have sticks around so you can pick it back up anytime. Say you're obsessed with why do we dream? It answers, dreams might help your brain sort memories or just blow off steam. Science isn't totally sure. You can save that in your history tab. It's right there on the side, like a little diary of your questions. No fancy folders yet, but you can scroll back and ask, do dreams mean anything? Later, and it ties right in with, some say they're random, others think they're your mind whispering secrets. It's perfect if you're piecing together ideas or just love revisiting your chats. Let's zoom in on why it's so beginner friendly. It's got vibe. OpenAI's boss, Sam Altman, called it thoughtful, and I totally see it. I said, roast my bad haircut, and it hit me with, your hair's so wild, it's auditioning for the jungle. It's got humor, heart, and doesn't feel like a cold machine. Try stuff like write a sea shanty or explain joy like I'm a kid. It rolls with it. Sometimes it's wordy, but tell it, shorten it, and it snaps into gear. It's so easy to mess around with, you'll be hooked in no time. Now, let's break down access. The $20 per month plus plan is your entry ticket. GPT 4.5 is coming to it soon. Maybe next week if you're lucky. Pros the big leagues. $200 a month, full access now, built for power users. No free version yet, but they're hinting at broader rollout later. Cost-wise, it's steep. $75 per million input words, $150 per million output. 
A short story might run you a few bucks, way more than rivals like Claude. But for what you get, smooth chats and creative juice, it's a splurge worth considering if you're all in. All right, let's fast forward. Chat GPT-5 is on the horizon, and it's got everyone hyped. No firm date yet, but whispers from OpenAI and posts on X-Point to late May or early summer 2025. Sam Altman's dropped hints on X, saying it'll unify their lineup, blending the best of GPT 4.5's chat skills with the reasoning tricks from their O models like O3. What's that mean? Think of GPT-5 as the ultimate AI mashup, chattier, smarter, and ready for anything. They're calling it a simplified powerhouse with tiers, so you might pick a light version for quick chats or a beefy one for deep dives. Rumor has it, it'll handle speech, images, even video, not just text, making it a total game changer. So what's GPT-5 bringing to the table? First off, it's multimodal, like next level stuff. Imagine saying, describe this sunset pic, and it goes, golden hues bleed into purple over a calm sea, pure magic. Or you hum a tune, and it writes lyrics to match. Posts on X say it'll think longer and deeper. So if you ask, plan my dream vacation, it might map out a whole itinerary, flights, sights, vibes, without you spoon feeding it every step. That's a leap from GPT 4.5, which sticks to text and needs more nudging. Open AIs, pushing for it to feel human-like, with better reasoning, less guessing, more figuring things out. They're even scrapping the model picker mess from 4.5, so it just works for whatever you need. How's it different from 4.5? GPT 4.5 is the king of chat right now, warm, quick, creative. But it's not a thinker, it spits out answers fast without mulling them over. GPT 5's set to blend that chat flair with real smarts. Say you ask 4.5, why's the sky blue? It says, light scatters, blue winds out, science. GPT 5 might add, it's Rayleigh scattering, shorter wavelengths bounce more, and our eyes catch the blue best. Deeper, sharper, and still chatty. Cost? No word yet but expect it to top 4.5's rates. Those multimodal tricks and extra brain power don't come cheap. It'll likely hit pro first, then plus, keeping the same access vibe. Let's stack GPT 4.5 against the competition. Claude 3.7 from Anthropic and Gemini 2.0 from Google. Claude 3.7 dropped this month too, and it's a hybrid, great at reasoning and real world tasks. I asked it, write a pep talk, and it gave me You've got this. Every step's a win, so keep charging. Solid, but less punchy than GPT 4.5's Rise Up Champ, today's yours to crush. Claude's cheaper, around $20 per million words, and ad-free, but it's stiffer, less vibey. Gemini 2.0's free tier is a draw. Ask, what's a supernova? And it's like, a star's epic goodbye, blasting light and dust everywhere. Clean, fast, but it caps out quick unless you pay. GPT 4.5's pricier, but wins on personality and flow. Claude's practical, Gemini's snappy, but 4.5's your chatty bestie. Want more AI updates? Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let us know what you think of it.